Hi, I'm Christy Maver, VP of Marketing here at Numenta, and I'm here today with Subutai Ahmed, CEO of Numenta. Subutai, first, thank you for uh, joining me and spending some time to chat with me today. Sure, I'm happy to be here. So I'm particularly excited to talk to you because you've been with Numenta from the beginning. So you've seen Numenta evolve over the years and your role has evolved as well. And I'm, I'm sure many of our followers may have noticed that on social media. Um, at the same time, there are people watching this video who are not familiar with Numenta. So first question for you is, can you give us an overview of, of the company, what Numenta is about, what we're working on today, and, and talk about that from your perspective um, over the years and your role today as well? Sure. Um, so I've been at Nementa for quite a long time, about 17 years, but you know, who's counting anyway? Who's counting? Uh, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so Nementa is a company that's at the intersection of uh, neuroscience and computer science. And throughout the years, we've had a, always had a two-part mission. So the first part is to really understand how the brain works at a deep level. And the second part of our mission is to then apply that understanding to practical AI systems. And so most of our 17 years, we've been focused on very conducting very basic research. So we've looked at um, kind of uh, the neuroscience papers, we've attended neuroscience conferences, we've been reading about the experimental literature, interacting with neuroscientists, and then trying to take that understanding and convert it to algorithms and theories, sort of basic scientific theories uh, that try to explain how the brain works, different facets of the brain. And we made great progress on that front. Uh, we published uh, numerous peer-reviewed papers, and we published at conferences and interacted with neuroscientists and collaborated on, on studies and so on. Um, over the last couple of years, though, we've started to turn our attention to the second part of our mission, which is to apply that understanding to practical AI systems. And as you mentioned, over the last few months, I've taken on a new role as CEO of the company. And during that time, we really focused our mission very specifically on deep learning systems and today's practical uh, AI systems. And what we're finding is that um, our neuro insights from neuroscience can actually lead to pretty breakthrough advances in today's AI technology. Uh, very broadly speaking, uh, we can apply our stuff across the full spectrum of AI from model development and training all the way to inference and uh, eventual deployment. And the sort of the pain points that we're addressing today, it's sort of well known that deep learning systems are extremely inefficient and cons are very power hungry and require a lot of computational resources. And the brain, on the other hand, is incredibly efficient at what it does in many different ways. And what we can actually apply a lot of that earlier research that we've done, and we're finding that we can achieve as much as 10 to 100x improvements in the overall efficiency of, of deep learning. So our plan today is to commercialize this technology in many different ways. Uh, it's a new direction for us, and it's incredibly exciting to me to see all the work that we've done over the last two decades uh, being actually applied to uh, real systems, finally. Right, right. So so you mentioned at the end there that, that we're developing this AI technology um, and, that, and that it is new for us. So can you talk more more about that technology? What is it? What you know, what what does it do? What kind of use cases uh, does it address? Yeah. So as I mentioned, you know, we're seeing some pretty dramatic improvements in inference and, and training performance in deep learning. Mm -hmm. um, and if you think about our neuroscience research, what we've done is sort of taken that and, and put it into three different buckets. So the first is the understanding kind of the architecture of how the brain works. There's kind of the physical layout and the physical structure of neurons and cortical systems. Uh, the second bucket that we uh, applied our stuff to is algorithms. So we can understand how the brain takes information and operates on that information. And then the final and probably the most important bucket is understanding kind of data structures, which is uh, different from architecture and algorithms, just really how does the brain represent information? And we can take those data structures and actually apply them to deep learning systems today. So some of our earliest use cases are in the areas of uh, natural language processing and, and computer vision. So if you look at uh, today's uh, transformer networks, for example, um, these are kind of the leading edge networks that a lot of today's AI breakthroughs are based on. Um, and those networks are extremely large and very heavy. Um, what we can take is um, some of our understanding of those data structures. We know that information is represented in very sparse vectors uh, in the brain. We can apply that sparsity uh, to 
um, deep learning systems. We also know that um, the brain has highly contextual activations. That is, depending on the particular input that's coming in, we invoke very, very small subsets, very specific subsets of the overall network to process that particular information uh, that's coming in. And so we've been able to take that learning, apply them to transformers, and get pretty dramatic speed ups. Because what it does is allow us to basically um, skip over a lot of computation that uh, you know deep learning systems would would provide today. So we can look at a very small subset of the network, only operate on that uh, subset of the network. And this is sort of essentially how we're getting our 10 to 100 X uh, speed improvements. And and just to be clear, what, what the technology that you're talking about and, and the work that we're doing, these are things that we're working on with companies today, right? You're not talking about things in the future you're talking about applying our technology to you know to existing systems today exactly so we're commercializing our our technology and working with uh companies today the stuff that i mentioned uh can actually apply to today's uh conventional hardware you know you can look at today's cpus today's gpus and fpga systems and you can apply that uh to those very directly so we're engaged in engage with uh, several large companies as well as startups to take our technology and apply it uh, you know throughout AI you know whether it's training or inference or deployment uh, and so on right so let me ask you last year uh, it was wow almost a year and a half ago now um, Jeff Hawkins our co-founder published uh, his second book a thousand brains um, which really was a, a book about the thousand brains theory um, and, and three parts. So the first part described the theory and was really about the neuroscience discoveries that, that led to the theory. And then part two was called machine intelligence. And part two was all about how the thousand brains theory, which is really the result of, of Numenta's work, right? How that theory would, um, would impact the future of AI. So can you talk about how the theory relates to the technology? Yeah. Uh, so in Jeff's book, he tried to encapsulate a lot of the two decades of work we've done into into a single sort of framework for thinking about the neocortex and in a framework for intelligence. And the uh, properties I mentioned on sort of speed up and training improvements and things are just the start of what's possible by taking that uh, neuroscience understanding and applying it to AI. Um, you know, Jeff talked a lot in his book about uh, reference frames and being able to create really structured representations of the world. So uh, when as humans, as we grow up, we learn about the world by moving around, by uh, making predictions and, uh, um, you know, really understanding kind of the 3D structure of the world that we live in. Um, and we can take that same same ideas, apply that to today's AI systems. So um, AI systems today don't have a very refined uh, knowledge representation and a, and a structured view of how the world um, is, is represented. And so we can, uh, by understanding how reference frames are implemented in the brain, how through movement we can really create these structured representations. Uh, we believe in the future we can create uh, AI systems that really operate the way humans do um, and really understand the world and really are able to reason about it and act on it. That's that's very exciting. <laughs> so so let me ask you, where do you see the company headed over over the next couple of years? And and if I can add a question onto that, what excites you the most about about Numenta and the technology we're developing? Yeah, so over the next few years, um, we're going to start with performance improvements. Um, we know that um, we can take a lot of what we've learned from neuroscience and apply it uh, in many different ways in AI. So we're working with companies today uh, to uh, create accelerated training platforms, uh, to create inference systems that are extremely energy efficient, uh, which is one of the biggest problems that uh, AI systems uh, face today. So we'll be working with companies over the next couple of years to sort of bring that to reality and to really commercialize that in, in many different ways. So looking beyond that, um, you can start looking at the thousand brains theory and all the different properties there. We can start towards creating completely novel hardware architectures and completely novel and new applications, applications that's even hard to imagine uh, today. And so when you have systems that can truly understand how the world is represented, um, and it can actually act on the world in a meaningful way. You know, who knows what sort of applications uh, can come out of it. So I'm excited, um, you know, personally, just 
uh, first of all, just seeing that all the work we've done over the last two decades in neuroscience can actually have practical impact on the world, um, but also just um, you know, continuing to um, understand better how the brain works, how we can apply that to uh, AI systems. I think we can, um, the, the marriage of neuroscience and computer science, we can take the best of both worlds and hopefully one plus one will equal three and we can create products that uh, is really hard to imagine today. Yeah. So if someone's watching this and they're interested in learning more or possibly being a, a company that works with us, um, what, what should they do? Where should they go? Yeah, so um, it's very easy. You can go to uh, numenta.com. Uh, there should be links in there to, to contact us. We're a small company, so it's not like your email is going off into some big uh, customer support system. Um, there's a, just a few of us looking at those emails, so we'll get back to you. Um, you know, working with a lot of companies today and very excited to have the chance to work with uh, other companies as well. Great. Well, I look forward to having uh, this conversation with you again, uh, you know, six months, a year from now and, um, and you know, see what applications and what things we're, we're working on at that time. But thank you so much for, um, for the update and giving us an overview on what Numenta's uh, working on today. Yeah, thank you, Christy.